Life is better together. Single mother Raina Brooks discovered this truth after getting connected at Dream City Church. My name is Raina Brooks and I am a single mom of four beautiful little girls. And after going through a divorce, uh, I was married for about 16 years to my high school sweetheart. And after going through a divorce, I almost, um, in the shuffle of things, kind of lost my purpose, so to speak. And uh, in amongst looking for uh, churches, I found Dream City Church. And from the moment that I walked into Dream City Church for the first time ever in my life, I had felt like I was home. Um, from the moment the music started playing, um, I was in tears. The Holy Spirit was profound every time I walked in the door and come for church. And uh, it, from there, I started serving, volunteering. Never once had I ever done that prior. I, I didn't even know it was an option. I thought that you had to be an employee of the church. So um, God really started working in my life when I started volunteering and becoming part of the church. And can I tell you, it made all the difference in the world in, in how I felt, the purpose that I had, and the healing that it did for me. I started volunteering in kids ministry because I had kids, obviously. Then I went to the youth group and started volunteering in youth. I just, if there was a need, I wanted to fill it. If somebody asked for help, I wanted the answer to be yes. Um, I just wanted to give back the very love that the church had given me when, when I had lost it. Um, the family that, that the church makes you feel is just overwhelming. Um, it, it definitely, I can tell that it's changed my life, not only my life, but all of my daughter's lives because they're watching me. Literally, I've turned into, I feel like, a regular everyday mom into somebody they can be proud of somebody that doesn't just walk in life and take care of myself but wants to help others. Um, finding the right church really is a game changer. Um, it, it, your loneliness is gone, you're surrounded by love, and, and you, you also get purpose. Well, today I have the incredible honor of interviewing Raina Brooks. Raina, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Well, Raina, I love your story because your story is all about community. And that's the importance of being a part of a church family, is finding community. So Raina, what was your life like before being at Dream City Church? Um, it's almost like um, I truly felt like a single mom. I didn't have family. Um, it didn't, I, I, I didn't really have anybody to bounce things off of. And it was like um, I was just going through the motions. Um, no involvement. Um, I, 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 it was like I, I didn't have a purpose almost. Yeah, and that, that's hard. There's a lot of single mothers out there who are like that. Where, where do single mothers get connected? Where do they get their support systems from? They have to find it at church because, believe me, I looked high and low. Um, I've always been smart enough to know when I need something to find it. But really, really finding a good church, it's been life-altering, 100%. Absolutely. It really is, and it, it is for many different people in many different walks of life. But the single mothers, man... There's so much respect for single mothers. Me, me personally, I respect single mothers so much. But if they don't have a support system, if they don't have a community, I mean, it's 100 times harder than if you had this church community to wrap their arms around them. So what was the point in your life where you were like, I need to find a church family? What was that turning point? Well, I, I was going to a church and going through the motions because I had already had a relationship with God. But it wasn't until I found Dream City where literally the first time I walked in, I felt like I was home, 100%. And then um, the church literally gave me a big hug, and, and since then it's been amazing. What was it about Dream City that was different from the old churches? What was it that made you feel so loved? Um, everybody from the greeters to, to the child care. Uh, being a single mom, leaving your kid with child care and having them throw fits almost would make you not go to service sometimes. So um, just from the moment I came in, the love that I felt was what I had been looking for the whole time. So what are you doing now at Dream City Church? So I volunteer um, in the kids' ministry. I walk alongside the youth directors and help with the youth. And I watch all the babies for mops so that they can have uh, mops groups every Tuesday. And then I also babysit for the men's tribe every Thursday. Absolutely. And so what would you say to single mothers who may be watching right now? who maybe they don't know Jesus, maybe they don't know why a church community is important. What would you say to women today who need to find that community? 
I would say get connected with a church and, and everything else will fall into place. Everything that you would need, everything you wish you had, all the hard times, they kind of slip away. It's like, you know, you, they always say, keep your eye on Jesus and, and you won't fall in the water. Well, with church and community, literally you won't feel like a single mom. You have enough yeah. support. Well, you are supported, but not only you, now your children. Can you tell us about the impact church has had in your children's lives? Yes, so my oldest daughter is um, going to G GCU to, uh, for a nursing degree, and she now goes to the um, young groups on Thursday nights. Oh, good. Didn't even ask her to go. She's just been watching me serve, and she's like, I'm going to go. Um, and then my 14-year-old, my 10-year-old, my 7-year-old, all of them serve. Um, my 14-year-old um, works with the babies, and then the younger two go with me to all the, all the groups and stuff and have made friends galore. Wow, I love that you drag your kids along with you. You're teaching them the importance of ministry and serving at a young age. Why would you say it's so important to have kids in the church community? Why do they need that strong community? Why do they need to serve? You know, once you start serving and you're bringing your kids alongside of you, the family that you didn't have or the pieces that were missing, they're no longer missing. You're, you're, you're able to dig in and help other people. For my kids alone, it, they realize they're not the only ones that maybe went through a divorce or... Um, have shortcomings, yeah. you know, they almost find a community within themselves. Absolutely. I think that is so beautiful. And Raina, you're all over the place. You're at youth camp praying over kids at the altars. You're in children's church taking care of the babies. You are serving everywhere and you are setting such a beautiful example to your children. Thank and I'm you. so proud of you. I'm so proud of your kids. It's been so awesome to watch you guys get connected and become a part of the core of Dream City Church. Thank you. It, it's a blessing to us, honestly. Dream City Church is the kind of place that welcomes people who come from all kinds of different walks of life. If you want to find a church who will join hand in hand with you through your journey, go to dreamcitychurch.us.